Green buildings in Australia are assessed and rated by a variety of government and independent ratings systems. The Green Building Council of Australia GBCA has developed a green building standard known as Green Star, with the first Green Star rating in Australia awarded to 8 Brindabella Circuit at Canberra Airport in 2004. As of April 2013, over 550 projects have been Green Star certified, representing 8 million square metres of gross floor area and over 20% of Australia's CBD office space. EER, Energy Efficiency Rating, launched in 1996 and in Australia is a system ranging from 0 to 10 stars and mandatory for buildings in the Australia. Australian Capital Territory ACT region the Green Star environmental rating tools for buildings benchmark the potential of buildings based on nine environmental impact categories, management, indoor environment quality, energy, transport, water, materials, land use and ecology, emissions and innovation. Green Star also has a tool which focuses on neighbourhood development. The National Australian Built Environment Rating System Neighbours, is a government initiative to measure and compare the environmental performance of Australian buildings. The neighbours' ratings for office buildings include, energy, water, waste and indoor environment. A rating for transport is also in development. Together, these ratings can provide a comprehensive picture of the sustainability performance of office buildings and tenancies. Ratings are also available for homes and hotels. Retail and hospital ratings will be launched later this year. History The Green Building Council of Australia has certified more than 600 buildings around Australia, among them the six Green Star certification of Trevor Piercy House in Canberra, the refurbished facility of Australian Ethical Investment Limited. The total cost of the renovation was $1.7 million, and produced an estimated 75% reductions in carbon dioxide emissions, 75% reduction in water usage, and used over 80% recycled materials. The architects were Collard Clark Jackson Canberra, architectural work done by Kevin Miller, interior design by Katie Mutton. Topic. Statewide developments Topic. New South Wales In NSW, an online assessment system called BASICS Building Sustainability Index requires that all new residential developments to reduce water consumption by 40%, and CO2 emissions by 40% for detached dwellings and between 20 and 30% for multi-unit dwellings compared to an average baseline. The online system provides designers with a mathematical model of the development that considered the interactions between the energy and water systems of the whole, drawing on climatic and normalized rainfall data for individual locations. Topic: <laughs> South Australia Guidelines for building developments in each project are outlined in the bylaws. The bylaws include various permutations of grey water reuse, reuse of stormwater, capture of rainwater, use of solar panels for electricity and hot water, solar passive building design and community gardens and landscaping.
Topic: Victoria. Melbourne has a rapidly growing environmental consciousness. Many government subsidies and rebates are available for water tanks, water efficient products such as shower heads and solar hot water systems. Topic: <laughs> Western Australia. In Perth, Western Australia, there are at least three different projects that incorporate the principles of green building. The office development located in Murray Street, West Perth being designed by Eco Design Consultant in collaboration with Tropo Architects is one of them. The other two are mixed development along Wellington Street, in the city centre. Guidelines for building developments in each project are outlined in the bylaws and the Green Building Council of Australia. Topic: See also List of sustainable buildings in Australia.